Hi, my name is Ryan Gupta and today I'm going to be talking to you all about robotics mechanisms. This is our second video on this topic, so I would recommend checking out our first if you have not watched that already. So let's get started talking about advanced gear techniques. There are a lot of advanced gear techniques for VEX robotics, so the first technique we're going to talk about is the rack gear. Using a rack and pinion allows you to move the pinion all the way up without turning any degrees and moving its position besides its height. While being used by some teams to go up and down pretty high, it can be very difficult if you have a very heavy object or a claw inside your grasp on the rack and pinion, so please be aware of using any heavy objects on it. Another technique is using a crown and worm gear to move objects from an angle. Worm gear mechanisms are quite slow but provide a significant amount of strength in comparison to the crown gears that are fairly fast but weak. Differential and bevel gears are another technique that are used to make drive bases have similar mechanisms to cars and have a similar design. The extra step allows different drive bases and drive base wheels on the same axle to rotate at different speeds such as when the car is turning. Which all these, when all these gears and axles might not seem entirely useful at first, anyone's creativity and knowledge can make these parts an instant success on their robot when properly tested. The second thing we'll talk about today are intake mechanisms. Intake mechanisms are considered the most difficult mechanism to create. This is because these mechanisms require a lot of troubleshooting. Some of the most difficult problems are figuring out how hot it is off the ground, how to transfer field elements to your scoring or storing mechanism, and how to allow field elements to travel smoothly through the system without getting stuck. The most common way teams solve these problems are with chains or conveyor belts and slides or revolving pushers. While being the hardest mechanism, it is still recommended to use these as they are the quickest and most efficient way for picking up scoring objects. Intakes themselves cannot actually score without a scoring mechanism, so let's go see what makes a good scoring mechanism. With great power comes great scoring mechanisms. There are many automatic mechanisms that allow you to place scoring objects onto the scoring platforms. The first idea, which is the most obvious, is in passive ability, when you just push and you just don't let anything get in your way. That's probably the pretty that's probably the easiest anyone can do. Just find like a plowish mechanism and then you're done. For objects you have to scroll from under, like an, an area or a platform, you can consider using a flywheel, which you can go incredibly fast and shoot light objects to another area very quickly. Another scoring mechanism is a catapult mechanism. First introduced in VEX IQ pitching in, the catapult mechanism was used on a robot called Flink, which is a VEX base robot. For anyone that wants to know, a link will be in the description to build that guy. A useful mechanism to get the scoring objects into the basket, a catapult can be used with many different designs for everyone to create. It is very, it might be a bit slow for some people, but if you can make it pretty fast, it can work out really well. The last mechanism to note is creating a basket and dropper. For a lot of challenges, you have to grab scoring objects and place them into different areas on the field. Making a very sturdy basket requires techniques used in our drive base video, so I'd recommend you check that out. But when you can get the basket correct, you can grab a lot of scoring objects and then you can place them into the scoring zone fairly quickly using a dropper. Alright everyone, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, check out our other videos, as I said. And we're also going to be doing a, an autonomous video pretty soon. I'm pretty sure it'll be linked right in the corner. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.